and we are live. All right. Welcome, everybody, to tonight's session of Sins of the Fallen. Where we last left off, the party uh, was trying to get to where Casper was in the uh, infested cities of Ithaca and Exada, as the population seemed to have been infected by the corruption. Uh, as they were making their way there, they ran into uh, Rico and the boys, who had turned into uh, just one big boy, uh, along with a bunch of other people. Um, and they had to fight Rico and the boys and everyone else. Uh, and it was close, but they pulled through and uh, got to the bar where Casper was performing his discordant song uh, and watched as the crowds of corrupted people uh, seemed to kind of meld and mutate together into one big fleshy mass. Uh, and as they tried to snap Casper out of it, the fleshy mass attacked them. Uh, and they just kind of kited around for a bit to avoid getting attacked by it, uh, before eventually getting Casper and getting him to snap out of it for a little bit before he just kind of went back into his trance for some reason. Uh, and, uh, the party guy kind of got split and kind of ran off away from the fleshy mass, uh, leaving just Malkir and... Casper in the path of the of this this great threat and just before uh, Casper was about to get eaten by it uh, he was saved by the uh, half orc uh, Matthias who uh, seemed to just destroy the fleshy mass uh, with a single strike and uh, with the mass gone, the clouds seem to part, and the giant apparition of the uh, of this large kind of skeletal beast uh, disappeared. And then he went flying off, and the party regrouped, and that's where we'll pick back up. A quick question as a refresher: what what madness did everybody still have? What little bits was left? Uh, all of the long-term madness is still present, so, like, like, B's deafness, uh, Casper's, uh, fear of his own reflection, um, whatever, like, whatever your characters, like, woke up with, if you, if you got one while you were asleep, you still have that. Ah, the yes, one... easily distracted for me. Yes, exactly. Um, yeah, uh, the ones that... Got you guys lost was if anybody uh, got an indefinite madness from just seeing the skeletal beast. Um, which I think was just uh, I think it was just B, Ruby, and who was the third person? I thought there was a third person. Casper, maybe? Yeah, he had Casper, it was. I knew Casper had one, but I thought like three people when the rest of the group showed up. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I remember Casper's thing no, I was definitely had to be the best one. one. I, knew, I knew Casper had one. Yeah. Because he, he got that, like, two sessions. What are we talking about? The Indefinite Madness. Um... It was. I believe it was just B, Ruby, and Casper had Indefinite Madness, which has now gone away because the B yeah. got Oh, thank fuck. What? You didn't like Apathetic Ruby? That wasn't no. a fun time? For no! Her? <laughs> for you? For me? No. For <laughs> Overconfident Deaf B? <laughs> yeah. Overconfident Deaf B really uh, was an icon. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Still deaf, but no longer overconfident. <laughs> All right, well, the party is all together and not in any immediate threat. What would you like to do? 
Also, this music is way too happy. <laughs> <laughs> City is crumbling. Hmm. Can we, can we, can we, can we, can we, can we get the fuck out of here? <laughs> oh, we've been trying to do really? Casper. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So oh, somebody really? was like, oh, I'm gonna play some music, and I don't want to fucking stop playing music, no matter what is happening. Not all Castifer's fault. <laughs> that we, it's I not fault that we split up. was trying to make money. Excuse you. It was showtime. <laughs> Listen, Ooh, I, the show I'm must alive. not always go on, okay? The show must go on during showtime. Live because of this there's a reason. Right here. <laughs> there's a reason. It's called Showtime. Yes, it's not. It's for the show. This is not the <laughs> argument we should be having right now. How much money did you make? None. Because <laughs> everybody what? was dead. Oh my God. Yeah, there was a lot leave. of people there, and then there was that thing. That thing was your crowd. If yeah, well, I mean, yeah, it was. Let's get out of here. Yeah, can we start the process of exiting? Well, do you want to find some horses? Because we don't have any. The hell are you talking about? I'm literally riding one. <laughs> yeah, yours. Well, you said we don't have any, so. He's got you there. All right. So, leaving or looking for horses? I don't think we're going to find any horses. Yeah, I think we just leave. It sucks, right. but I don't think we have any other options. Well, I'd like to at least check a couple things before we go. Can you check them on the way out? You're just hoping that they actually let us leave. If everything's being ruined and destroyed, I don't think they'll make us stay. Well, for the most part, a lot of things were killed, you know, inside, so, uh... Yes, mute your mic. What uh, is it they, you need to check? Unless they feel that everything is, you know, infected, then they might try and keep us, but that oh. we won't know until we get to the edge. What is it you need to check? I was mainly just going to see if anybody I knew was still alive in this city. Hm. I think anybody still alive in the city is a lost cause, I'll be honest. So, mm -hmm. leaving or trying to find random people in an infected city? I vote leaving. Me too. Yeah, I'm on board with that. Hmm. Off we go. All right. We... Sounds like everybody wants to leave then. All right. Yep. Well, well, I'll I'll majority, majority at least. Well, I'd at least recommend a destination, since I know at least one person is outside of the city. Is 
a lot of people outside the city. That's why we want to get out of the city. Weren't we heading somewhere anyway? We're playing across the mountains. This is towards the mountains. It's that way anyway, so it would help. Right. We leave. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, uh, as you guys try to leave the city, I'm assuming you're trying to avoid any further conflicts. Oh my yeah. god, Three. please. Then I would like a, either a group stealth check or no, a group survival no. check. Oh, fuck. No! <laughs> Not again! Can't fucking I'm doing, survive. I'm doing, I'm doing stealth. Fuck this. <laughs> I was gonna say we have to decide as a group, don't we? Yeah, group self, self. Yeah. self. All one self. for the, or the other. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh, how last many time we did, <laughs> last yeah, time okay. we did survival, and it didn't help us any. Yeah. Yeah, but that was just because we all rolled like ass. We could have could have been the same thing on stealth, and we still would have rolled just ass because we're also rolling. <laughs> three of us are still rolling at disadvantage, aren't we? Yep. You on myself, stealth. Falcon. Yeah, on stealth, three I mean, of us roll at disadvantage. That's, disadvantage. Exactly. So. That's that's why you two always roll at disadvantage, and now there's plus me at dis Like, we just rolled bad on this survival, but I mean... But at the same time, if we have more people that have a higher chance of getting a good stealth roll versus getting a good survival mine roll... Just, mine are the same. <laughs> yours are the same. I have expertise in stealth. Casper's good at stealth. Like... I think that there's a there's different ways to balance this out. If we're all low on survival and rolling straight, it, we're limited on how high we can get. I think Even aside from are, you two, are you two are the only that are high at stealth, though. <laughs> Was why we did survival, I think. Last time we didn't have Casper. Oh. Okay. Be survival. Right, Look, if y'all want to roll stealth, we'll disadvantage three at stealth, though. <laughs> I have plus two for stealth, but at disadvantage, I have a plus one for survival at not disadvantage. So Yeah, I'm a two and a two. Mm -hmm. I'm a two in stealth, but a six in survival. Casper, what's your stealth? I got a four and a zero. And my stealth is a plus nine and a one. Uh, B has plus five stealth, plus three survival. So collectively, those of us that aren't rolling at disadvantage have a higher chance of success than... Does that make sense? You know, I, I get what you mean. It's just that for a group success, how don't... What is it, four of us have to succeed? I mean, we just have to leave it up to the dice gods, in all honesty. It really so is. We just need to pick survival or stealth. Somebody flip Hello, it Josh. Josh, it's stealth, so it's going to be stealth. Let's All go right, with stealth. stealth it is. I'm going to cast right. enhance ability for stealth on yeah, myself. On <laughs> <laughs> for dex on me. Haha. <laughs> -ha. <laughs> Thanks, right. Casper. <laughs> I'm going to grab my food. And that nullified it immediately. Yep, there we go. That feels great. <laughs> you would have gotten that natural one anyway. <laughs> You don't count. You're always a disadvantage right now. Don't forget to add your D4 if you didn't. I don't think uh, mine matters. <laughs> if you're Mine's... all near me. I forgot we added D4. Yep. Mine's... No, near you is for for saves. Oh, that's right. That's for saves only. These are chicks. This is, this is our... Uh... Bonus four for your san insanity bonus. I'm literally oh, not even going to bother on my natural one. I rolled so well. This yep, is the only be ones thing. that don't get it are Casper and Phil. My D4 is already built into my roll. Got it. The highest I can get to is seven, which is still a whiff. So I'm just, uh, <laughs> I'm just not even. 
Still, seven's better, but with a nat one, it's not. It's just still, it's still a nat one, no matter what way you slice yeah, that it. That nat one nullifies that nat twenty, so. No, no matter how much you spice it up, it's still a one. <laughs> Malk here, did you want to roll a d four? Oh God, he's dead. He died. Yeah, he, he said oh, under hushed tones that he had to go get his food. Oh, I didn't hear that. Didn't even hear it. That's because he said it under hushed tones. <laughs> I didn't hear that. <laughs> I, I feel like there's a loop happening. <laughs> was that because it was said under hushed tones? <laughs> How I, I know? I didn't hear it. <laughs> anyway, somebody... You might have if it wasn't said under hushed tones. Turn this car right around. I'm so glad that this is the mood we're in today. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you for not saying that in hush tones. <laughs> hey, get out of here. I'm done. I'm done. No, you're not. All right. Let me just double check past perception. Okay. So. Uh, the group makes their way slowly through the city, uh, keeping an eye out for any infected people, uh, in order to avoid, um, you don't run into really anybody on your way out of the city, however, and uh, <clears throat> like maybe like a half hour later, you find yourselves at the western gate to leave the city of Exada. It is closed, and you do not see anyone manning the gate. Do we see an easy way to get up and over? I mean, yeah, you can uh, just climb up the uh, to like the the top of the exterior walls and just jump off the wall. If that's what you want to do. Wanted to make sure it was an option. Yeah, you're on the you're on the inside of the city, so like yeah, like the stairs leading up to the top of the walls are on this side of the wall. So it's getting to the top of the walls is not a problem. Well, then we just have to rappel down. We've done that before. Yeah, I'm just I'm not overly inclined to open the gates, which could then lead to more infected wandering out. Unless we know we can close the gates from the other side. Mm-hmm. I think we go up and go climb down, like you said, then. <clears throat> we just have to leave the cart behind. Oh, no! <laughs> I forgot. I paid for it, so fuck it. Do we have stuff in it? No, it's no. a mini cart. <laughs> Oh, Didn't we already have been we've, 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 we've been. been guys, you guys Actually, no, we've, we've been on rooftop climbing. Now. How have yeah, we been we've, taking this? We've already <laughs> abandoned the cart to get the cat. Yeah. Oh, right, right, okay. Then, yeah, let's yeah. do that. <laughs> How high is the wall? The gate. Well, the gate itself, uh, the structure that makes up the gate, goes up about uh, like 30, 40 feet. Uh, the walls on either side of the gate go up 20 feet. Oh, okay. There's a gatehouse on either side of the gate that the <laughs> that the walls kind of go up to. Jump. Use a rope. No, I just jump. I have enhanced ability right now. <laughs> so 20 foot <laughs> fall doesn't hurt me. I tie a rope and let us be able to rappel down. 
I will dismiss my horse and resummon on the other side of the gate once I'm on the ground. All right. So yeah, you guys, uh, you run up to the walls. Uh, Cat just jumps right off the wall because she can. Um, B does the same thing. Cause monk. Uh, I don't, cause I don't want to die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, um. Yeah. You know, Velcrum ties his rope. Uh, and uh, everybody else that's using the rope to get down can make an acrobatics check at advantage. So straight roll from Kit. Yay. Miracle. All right, yeah. You guys each individually slide down the rope and land easily on the ground outside the walls. Want to sever that rope again like we did last time when we left right. the inn so yeah. nothing can climb down it or up in. Mm -hmm. Oh, shoot. I could have waited and then just brought it with us, but I guess we just... Oh, <laughs> well, I mean, we're still taking, shot, you know, the, the rope minus the five feet that we used to tie down. Yep. Or so ten now, feet, I don't know what we tied it around, so... So now two of you have 25-foot rope instead of normal 30. I Ooh. bought, like, five extra lengths of rope, so... Is, yeah, we bought you know, you so bought much lot. rope. <laughs> we have so much rope. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, so now that you are outside the city, do you continue towards the mountains? Hmm. Sure. Yeah. Hmm. I was going to recommend we stop at the staging ground, but sure. Yeah, it's on the way. All right. So, uh, seeing how you all kind of slept in the daytime, uh, you travel at night, and um, as you travel throughout the night, it's just a eerie quiet outside the city. There is no no animal life making sounds at night as you walk down the road leading towards the west. After walking for several hours, uh, sun starts to rise in the and as the sun rises, uh, you hear a loud horn blowing from the From the what? You got cut off. From the east. Gotcha. As if the sun itself is blowing the horn. <laughs> I had a funny mental image. <laughs> uh huh. Do we see anything in the east? Well. This part of the terrain is kind of rolling hills. Uh, as you kind of, you can like run up to like the top of one hill and try to look towards the east. Uh, but at this point, the cities would be several miles away. So you can't really make out much in that direction. Double check. Sure. But it's the it's the cities that are over in the east. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, my I'm bad with directions. <laughs> yeah. Um. Well, let me bring you guys over. To 
absolutely sure where you're at. That'll definitely help. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would say you guys are about here as dawn rises. And uh, this map is a little misleading because the city on the map are a bit big. Mm -hmm. I still need to get it reformatted. Um, but uh, the sound would be coming more from uh, where Ithaca is, just along the uh, the lakefront. Mm -hmm. So you can't see anything, but you can guess that the horn is coming from the surrounding area near it. Anybody know what the horn's for? Do any of us know what the horn's for? <laughs> I mean, two of us went to the to the three. Three of us went to those to those schools. Um, <laughs> I guess the question is, would we have known its purpose if that's where it's even coming from? <laughs> I mean, there's no like long history of Ithaca having like a horn that it blows on occasion or anything. If that's what about. Wouldn't have been wouldn't have been anything in the handbook of like keep an eye out for keep an ear out for this sound in case of emergency. Emergency <laughs> procedure. <laughs> the horn of Gondor. <laughs> <laughs> um I would say Malk here, because you went to kind of more of the military academy side of thing. Uh mm -hmm. go ahead and make a history check. Alright. I mean, we don't all hear air raid sirens constantly, but we know what they're for, so... Yeah. I'm just wondering if it's something similar. Seven. Yeah, no idea. <laughs> nah. Has it come Somebody... up in any... <laughs> I, I didn't read the emergency section of the student handbook. You gotta read that. It's really... You gotta be prepared for an emergency, Look, dude. <laughs> there's like 20 different horn sounds. I can't... I don't remember what they all mean. All the patterns mean something. All that's all I know. <laughs> we have. I imagine the the version that we that we got in Exoto was much bigger, considering we were very prepared for every single instance. Like there was probably definitely some alligator attack drills in there somewhere. <laughs> if you're so, if you're supposed to be so prepared, then why don't you remember what the horn sound is for? <laughs> Realize how long it's been since I studied. I don't have any clues, so no. It's one of those things where, like, you don't remember your your student handbook when you leave college. <laughs> that information goes in one ear and out the other. What's that? Speak for yourself. I was gonna say for you. I remember everything I learned in college. <laughs> um, I remember well... that I went to college. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> <laughs> I remember being at. I don't know if I went to college. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I kind of just showed up there sometimes. I don't know how I got there, but I was there. <laughs> Um, well, the horn's coming from the east, and we're not going that way. I say we just keep on walking. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Even if the horn was, like, an all-clear of some kind, mm -hmm. I don't want to go back. Or a, go back or a burn all residents inside sort of warning. Wait, did, yeah. did we sleep yet? I'm so lost. Time is nope, so funky nope. because we've you are slept... now traveling at night and <laughs> yeah, you guys slept all day and then woke up to the zombie apocalypse. Mm -hmm. uh, fought in the, like the late evening uh, and then now you you've walked all night and it is dawn of the next day, hmm. which is pretty close to when you guys went to bed the previous the previous day. In other words, um, we fucked up our sleep schedule. You sure did. We're stuck like this forever. 
<laughs> I wasn't walking. I was riding with our horse. super dark vision party. Uh, yeah, really good for us to be traveling at night. <laughs> We're really equipped for this. It's fine, guys. And I was like a hot. Don't worry about it. Some of you. Some My of guidance you. is through just following Ruby's flaming hair. <laughs> Let's she is my push. beacon in the night. Let's just push literally. Till, let's just push till it's normal nighttime, and then we just go to sleep. Then reset our sleep schedules. Yeah, at least push to um, early, early evening. Should we maybe do that once we get to another town? We don't know if that town's infected either. I would imagine. If yeah, which is why there. we should probably sleep. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm still bleeding from several places I should not be bleeding from. Yeah, I think we sleep now. We do one, and then that way we can rest up, and then we push through tomorrow to try and reset ourselves. Hmm. Okay. All right. See you guys. Are bedding down for the day. Yep. <laughs> For the day. Uh, at least yep. watches should be easy. <laughs> yeah, we shouldn't have to worry about getting snuck up on. In broad daylight. Well, like to think that, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, 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 I would. I got this. It's my hut. <laughs> are, we, are we all in the hut? No, I like kitten cat inside. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Just a, a, like a a crayon drawn sign on the outside that says changelings only. <laughs> yeah. No, no, it says Casper Cats only, person. and only the two of us can look exactly <laughs> like Casper. <laughs> Caspers only. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. All right. So you make God, camp. Wait, guys. Oh. One of our watchers is deaf. Yo, yep. I'm gonna I'm gonna stay up with B. It's fine. <laughs> he will be eyes only. <laughs> Can lesser restoration restore madness deafness? <laughs> only He's gonna cry. I cast Lesser Restoration with the third level slot because I don't have any seconds left on B and try to fix her death. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> to seeing if it makes her not deaf. I don't know if it will. All right, let me, let me double check to make sure there aren't any like stupid stipulations in the madness rules. Look, I like, it needs to be one... cured by something blah, 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 of this level. Yeah. Yeah. Look, <laughs> like I kept the one third level slot for in case we needed revivify, okay? Yep. <laughs> so, I'm like, oh, I'm going to sleep. Hey, B, push. <laughs> yeah. Shove. Hope nobody dies during the watch. Yeah. yeah, that would be unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you cast Lesser Restoration on to B, uh, and uh, you sh see she kind of like winces for a second before saying, oh, that's so much better. Huh. Yay! <laughs> You're welcome. I hold out my hand. Oh, she's not here. I can't do that. Okay. <laughs> She shakes your hand. <laughs> that works. <laughs> but I'm going to take a B from her later. <laughs> All and right. I go to sleep. Okay, what are, what are the watches? And then you can put B and I on first watch. All right, Ruby and B, first watch. I'll go second. Uh, I guess I'll go second. I'll be in last. 
All right. I guess it'll be two changelings and a Valkram on three. All right. Then uh, I would like uh, both B and Ruby to perception. Oh, yeah, I guess I should. Nope. Roll 20. Weird. Eleven. All right. Uh, obviously, no role play between the two of you as <laughs> Taylor's not here. Yep, um, just hanging out. Yep, just hanging out. She's the same level of quiet as she was when she couldn't hear anything. Um, yeah, but your your watch goes off with no problems. Uh. And, Nice sunny day, which is probably making it a little harder for everybody else to sleep, but oh well. <laughs> Fulcrum's out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's possible that most people are just so exhausted that they're just like, fuck this. Mm. All right. <clears throat> so then that will bring us to second watch, which is Malkir and Casper. Mm-hmm. Perception. Perception. Yep. Wow. Woo! Well, don't forget your D4. I'm sensing a pattern. <laughs> it's almost as if Malkir is built for, like, one skill. Almost. Yeah. And they all happen to be a uh, vocal. Any conversation between the two of you? I'm, uh... I'm in my hut. Uh... Oh, you're you're making your your roll from the hut. Okay. Yeah, I'm just looking out. Yeah, just keeping an eye out. Occasionally keeping my mind busy by working on any of the gear that has been, you know, bloodied and or uh, stained from the previous combat. All right. Cleaning the, uh, all the gross pus and whatnot off of your, <laughs> your armor. Probably a good call. Yep. All right. Try to maintain some level of noble-ish looking cleanliness. Okay. Um, make a performance check. <laughs> okay. You 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 feel pretty 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 stately in your <laughs> your current dress. You got you cleaned up everything. Uh, there's not too many holes, and the even the holes are pretty small. You, you, you think you, you probably look all right. Hmm. All right. All right. Yeah, not much conversation. Just keep him busy. Uh, yeah, your watch goes off with no problems either. Brings us to third watch. It's Fulcrum and the twins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm still at disadvantage. You I sure know. are. It's so fucking cursed. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. only 50 hours. You'll be fine. Ah, no, I won't! <laughs> I forgot yeah. that it was... It's, so a, it's 72 hours of fucking exhaustion! <laughs> oh, 50. Hmm. At the start, it was 72! <laughs> it was definitely 50. <laughs> definitely 
felt like seventy two. Because I it was it was it was one D ten times uh times ten amount of hours and I rolled a five, so it was fifty hours. That's a whole day less. Yes, it is. It still equates to about two. two. Days of... <laughs> I mean, if you wanted to be seventy-two, I can make it seventy. No, <laughs> it already feels like seventy-two without it being seventy-two. Oh no! It sounds to me like you want it to be seventy-two. <laughs> you do not want it to be seventy-two. I mean, you can make it a week. Hi, Hina. I'm sorry for yelling. Yeah, I follow Casper's lead. I just hang out in the hut. Fuck Same. that. I am not <laughs> leaving the hut. <laughs> Kit. I realized something. I need your help. With? I reach into my bag. And I pull out the vase. It's magic. I don't know what it does. Oh. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Does <laughs> casting? <laughs> it says ritual casting count as? <laughs> can I do that while I'm watching? <laughs> well, I'm not really watching. I rolled a fucking eight. So. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. Okay, I will. Uh, I will ritual cast detect magic on the base. No, I didn't I detect magic. I already. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, identify. No, I meant. I meant identify. I meant identify. <laughs> The wrong spell I was reading. The wrong thing. Leave me alone. No, that is magic. That doesn't help. Me. No, no, no. I, I was the wrong one. It was the wrong one. I meant identify. I ritual cast identify. All right. You cast identify, and as uh, you finish with your spell, uh, you identify this base. Uh, as a pot of awakening. Uh, what it does is if you plant a seed into this pot and grow a plant from it, uh, a month after you plant it, the pot breaks and the plant becomes a sentient creature called an awakened shrub. That's I'll so be... cool! <laughs> I really was planning a baby! <laughs> yeah. But there's not one in it right now. I'll be right back. I'm what? Leaving. No, 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 no. I just... <laughs> no, 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 no. I, try... I grab you as you're leaving that. <laughs> I need it. <laughs> not right now. I know you need it, but you need to wait, okay? <laughs> okay. I put I... it back in the bag. <laughs> and I need this one too. And I pull out that snow globe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm probably going to spend the entirety of my watch <laughs> casting identify on objects that a kid has, or the cat has in her bag. <laughs> it's only two things. Don't worry. Oh, okay. Um, all right, then I will identify the snow globe, too. All I know is people offered me a lot of money for that snow globe, so I want to know what it does. While she's identifying, I'm leaving to find a flower. It's <laughs> Damn you. <laughs> I, I, like, I mumble sort of to you. I'm just, like, taking blood with you. And I just sort of like tilt my head because he's a snake now. And so you can just like, he just sits on my neck. So you can just take I wear ink flat and go aside. And I will tell Falcom, it's really important. I need to find a flower. I'll be right back. And I leave. Don't go too far. Okay. I just want to find a random flower. <laughs> random flower. <laughs> you don't want to pick one with care? You're right. I need to find a pretty flower. <laughs> Oh, there goes that idea. <laughs> so you're identifying the snow globe? Yes. Got it. You cast your spell once again. Uh-huh. 
Uh, and you find that uh, this item, it's not inherently a magic item. Uh, okay. It's just a regular item with a very mild enchantment about it. Okay. Uh, the snow globe uh, within the like the globe itself, uh, you can see there's like a uh, like a small city, uh, and your spell tells you that the city that is depicted. is uh, a city on the elemental plane of ice. Ooh. And because of that, the snow globe itself is always cold to the touch. Ah, that's cool. Very cool. Are right, you got nothing else? That's it. No, I'm that's good. It. All right. No, I meant to. Oh, <laughs> to <chat>. yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Then. And Cat, you left to go find a flower. Yes, a pretty right. flower. A pretty <laughs> flower. Gotcha. Uh, go ahead, and uh, I'd say make like a either survival or nature check okay 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 survival all right do we still have our d4s or did that wear off you still have your d4s na 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 19 19 nice is there a particular flower that you're looking for, or are you just looking for something like in the area? I just want something that's pretty in the area. All right. You think as a druid, I have druid craft, but I don't, but it's okay. <laughs> I don't need it. I just find them, otherwise I'm planting a good berry, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that would be so cute! <laughs> I know, just a big giant berry. A good know. berry bush? <laughs> <laughs> An would, animated good berry bush. It would just be the grapes from South Park. I remember <laughs> the member berries. If I don't find a pretty flower, that's what's happening. Good berry bush. All right, hold on a second. You should make like a morph. You should plant the good berry with the flower. <gasps> And see what happens. Oh my Give it some a magic. good flower. Yeah, a good flower. And then you get and put some druid juju in there and call it a day. Druid juju. Yep. Now I'm just wondering if Tori could make a good berry bush with one good berry planted. Well, it would turn into like an animated good berry creature. An animated good bush? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> no, let's no. <laughs> Okay, I like the sound of this one. <clears throat> you find uh, a plant. Uh, it's got a. It's. It it looks like it's a. Um. A flower that. Hasn't. Like it hasn't bloomed yet. Uh, however, with your high survival check, you recognize what this flower is. Uh, it's a flower called uh, Phantom Needle. Ooh. Ooh. It's a flower that only blooms at night. Ooh. Wait, that's, that's the one. That's the guy. <laughs> that's the one. I take it. All right. Yeah. 
phantom needle good berry bush? <laughs> <laughs> phantom you, you, berries. You uh, dig up the, the flower and I'm assuming putting it in your pot, yes. in your vase. Putting a good berry with it still. Okay, you put a, <laughs> you put a good berry in it. Yay. I, so. I guess I cast good berry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. You successfully plant your weird plant hybrid of a phantom needle <laughs> and a good berry. And then they come back. Don't forget the druid juju. <laughs> I'm not the, yeah, I say... I just look at Falcom and I go, mission accomplished, and I walk back into the tiny hut. <laughs> Falcom wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then I sit down and I go, Kit, I might be just doing the coolest thing ever right now. And I'm gonna, I don't know, I'm sure I have like planty stuff in a herbalism kit that I have. So I'm going to make sure I like feed the stuff and I'll like use my water and my water skin and I'm going to take real good care of it and make sure that they were properly like, I don't know, they're okay because I want this. And then I'm just going to hug the pot and keep watching. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Guys, I'm pregnant. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck, I'm still not paying attention. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> All right. So, uh, you, uh, your watch goes off with no problems. True. And everybody gains the benefits of a long rest. Yeah. Woo. Woo. <laughs> Woo. However, <laughs> um, I need everybody but Felcrum and uh, Casper to uh, roll me a con save. Excellent. Are those of us outside the hut close enough to Felcrum for his aura? <laughs> no. <laughs> You tell me we don't sleep that close enough? All over by himself. Well. Cosmic omens. No, no, that's <laughs> my thing. I have to roll for it when we finish long rest. Oh, that's funny. Ooh! Ooh! And <laughs> <laughs> no, no, the, I'm fine. That she, the, the, I, her one is a nullify. Yes! 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 <laughs> Alright, come on, where's where's B natural B's natural one? Ah, uh, no, it's a too big of a <laughs> mm. Cons. Yes! Wow. yes. <laughs> and we will never roll that high ever again. Yeah, we're all gonna <laughs> fail something later. In this awesome. moment, B is an unofficial twin. <laughs> <laughs> this feels right. <laughs> all right, so. Come to find out the DC was 25? No. Uh, it was not that. Really. <laughs> we're level six. <laughs> yeah. Um, so two things happen. Uh, first thing is that everybody notices that their senses dull quite a bit, as you all lose that D4 that was being, uh, added to all ability checks and saving throws. Mm-hmm. Did we get to add it onto this to you beforehand, before it fades away? Uh, no. 
Uh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah. Not that it really matters, I don't think. I feel like the person who has the floor there is, uh, looking about! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the second thing, uh, Ruby, I need you to roll me a d4. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> one, 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 one. Also okay. fitting. <laughs> um, as you guys are all getting ready to, uh, head out as the sun is dipping towards uh the the western horizon uh ruby uh starts to cough incessantly mm. and ruby you see that you cough up a kind of a milky yellow pus oh no is it the same pus that we the people the... were oozing? Yeah. Uh, yes. Can I clean oh, off of my armor? Yeah. Yes, it is. Uh, additionally, Ruby, your constitution score is reduced by four. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. oh, buddy. Thus reducing your max hit points by oh, 12. No. Oh, my Ooh. God. Hey, are you lower than me? Tied with me? <laughs> <laughs> Wow. For, a brief, for a brief moment in time, will I not be the lowest in my party member? Reduced, reduced by four, you said? Con score reduced by four, making your max hit points reduced by 12. Okay. I'll still put her at 42. She's still above you. Wait a yeah, I was going to say, my con is <laughs> pretty high. Fuck. Oh, God. Joe, what did you say that put more me at? 42? It puts you at 42. Thanks. 54 <laughs> minus 12. That is a... There's a 20 point difference between Kayla and myself. Yikes. It used to be higher. Um... I have almost double the hit points of Kit. I just find that funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, <laughs> I just, we just know. Find it funny. <laughs> I know. We, 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 it was like me with Edward. <laughs> um, did anybody notice? I feel like we noticed you hacking up a lung. <laughs> I mean, Falcon probably didn't. Yeah, you rolled a nat one. You weren't yeah. real stealthy about it. <laughs> it's like when you're in the middle of a supermarket and you just hear that one person dying in the corner. <laughs> oh my god! In the frozen food section, just like <laughs> you're like, oh my god, not going over there. Just like with like having to go to a grocery store and like the the height of the pandemic and there's a single, mm. a single cough goes off somewhere else and it's like a gunshot <laughs> yeah you just gotta get out you're like why <laughs> um kit will walk over it's ruby she will not touch her <laughs> and she's like <laughs> it's like are you you don't look so good yeah i don't feel so good do you want a good berry <laughs> they, like peek out from behind. <laughs> I don't think a good berry's gonna help, Kit. You're probably right. I'll be right back. I go walk. <laughs> um, I know I can't like cure it, but with the herbalism kit, would I be able to make some sort of like I don't know, like a tea or like a thing to ease it a little, maybe so she doesn't feel poo poo. Help ease the coughing fit? <laughs> yeah. Um, sure. Yeah, you, you kind of, like, make, like, a nice herbal tea, which kind of... kind of kind of helps soothe the, the, the throat. Uh, it doesn't do anything mechanically, yeah, though. Yeah, I didn't think it would. Yeah. I'm just being a friend. Thanks. Look over at Felcrum, and I'm just like... What the fuck is going on? Would Fulcrum know? I would say it's like <laughs> hmm. he's he, he would have a pretty good guess that uh, Ruby is starting to succumb to the corruption. That's what I feared. 
she may be infected. I feel pretty confident that I'm infected. Let's... Before we do anything drastic, let's weigh our options here. <laughs> As he says, before we do anything drastic, <laughs> Felcrum was literally slowly <laughs> reaching for his sword. <laughs> Amazing. Just looks between the soccer and Ruby before we, before, you know, you try and, before anybody decides that jumping off a cliff or decapitation is a good option. I mean, it's always a good option, but not yeah. right now, probably. There's still ways we can fix this. Did you say that? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> how do we, how? I don't personally know, <laughs> but... Um, cool. Thanks for the vote of confidence. We mm -hmm. just need to be stronger. We have, do we have any kind of magic that can cure anything? Oh, I have that stuff that sometimes, but usually they have to be lesser things. I mean... I can try it! It wouldn't hurt. Give it a try. I, yeah. I pat Ruby on the back. Like, it's okay, and soothing circles. <laughs> As I try lesser restoration again, I feel... I don't know. Try to pinpoint that corruption and get rid of it. <laughs> yeah. Alright, you cast lesser restoration. It has no effect. Yeah, I didn't think it would. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Probably need greater, personally, but... Okay. I think so. Hmm. Look, you're not that strong yet. <laughs> well, we're, we're we're getting to the staging ground. My I have an associate there, Ipan. He researches magical effects and things like this. He might know some way to deal with it. I'm not gonna willingly go into a populated place. Wear a mask. <laughs> <laughs> Cough in your elbow. Six feet and, apart at yeah, all times, probably Ruby. Probably like six foot apart from people. You know, just just in case. Oh yeah, I was gonna walk at the. I was gonna walk in the back. Oh, but yeah, then you're coughing at us. I, I I'm not if we're keeping in front of her. But Would you rather true. be coughing in front of you and have no, to, to be walk to the through side it? of us? Okay, walk to the side of you then. Walk in the back. Of is fine. <laughs> Either way, okay. she's not truly, she's not hmm. to the point of no return yet. So there's still hope. There's, there is time. Yes, there is definitely time. Now I imagine your order was more of the scorched earth policy when it came to the corruption. My order was to basically end the corruption as they saw fit. It wasn't really, uh, you know, kill anything that's infected at all times, but it all depends on the stages of infection. But if they just would have fucking helped me gain the powers that they had, I could have helped better, but no. They fucking I... held me back. Why'd they hold you back? Because they're assholes. Sounds like it. Hmm. Uh, why do I get the feeling that nine times out of ten, the solution was mostly violence? I mean, it was 50 50, honestly. We've all, all of the Guardians dealt with plenty of corruption and. It all depends on just how far the infection has spread in somebody. Sometimes they get... Well, when they start coughing up pus, it's definitely not good, but there's still hope. It just... Oh. If, hmm. if you continue to get worse and worse as the days progress, then it's not looking good. But, I mean, if we can find some kind of... Someone with a better kind of restoration magic or something, we'll probably be able to help. That was in short supply up there at the time, so. Okay. Oh, we can start walking. Uh... 
All right. So you start making your way towards the northwest. And after walking for several hours after night fell, uh, you crest over a hill and you can see off in the distance what looks to be uh, a large castle up on a kind of raised kind of cliff face uh, and surrounding the castle uh, are hundreds and hundreds of tents. Hmm. This is one of them. Yeah. Uh, Malkir, you would recognize this as uh, Cowl Hold, which is hmm. the staging ground for any assaults. Or to start assaults. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Hmm. What would the party like to do? If your friend is in there, is he going to are they going to be willing to come out? Oh, we'd have to find them first. Is this a safe place? Oh, it's very safe. Mm. It's, it's about as safe as any Sounded military like installation can be. Trustworthy for some reason. <laughs> That's what, what you said about weirdly, Zada. It also yeah. sounded like weirdly threatening, too. It's yeah. very safe. <laughs> Sounds legit like to me. I feel like this is where Malkir is taking me to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> It's about as safe as any military installation can be. I mean, we're ready for we're ready to repel any assaults as well as start any if we wanted to. And we're going to find your friend for what? Ipan in our in my or organization we do uh he does the magical research he does anything dealing with magic and that study oh. so hopefully maybe he's found some clue as to what's causing the corruption and maybe how to stop it from progressing and in uh, ruby's condition I see. I still don't think I should go in. I'll keep you company. Well, if you don't want to go in, you don't have to. I mean, Good. it's kind of a, a twofold. Falcon, how does this spread? Do you know? What would he know? Uh. He would know that it usually spreads through, uh, like, the transfer of fluids. So, like, oftentimes what happens with uh, Corrupted is that uh, they either, like, vomit or bleed all over someone, and then they get Corrupted, and then it just keeps going. And he would pass on said information. So okay, like solar. Cool. Just... Solar. Sometimes the more potent ones, as you guys had uh, a lot of experience with, uh, just fucking explode when they die. Yeah, fucking sucks. Yeah. I'm gonna cast Goodberry, and I'll keep two, and I'm gonna give Ruby eight. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Kat. Thumbs up. Alright, so as long as I don't vomit on anyone. 
Or share a glass with anyone as well. Or bleed. Well, that's a ton of options. Um... Hey, I bet we could make those good berries into a wine. Just treat it like a common sickness, but slightly more contagious. And by slightly, I mean a lot, but you, you get the idea. Probably have something that I've used as, like, a, f a face cover covering to not be noticed, right? Yeah, we probably have, like, a... Like, like a, a scarf, scarf or something? Yeah. Yeah, I'll pull that out of my bag, and I'll, I'll put that on. Hmm. So are people going in to look for uh, Malkir's friend? Well, I'm at least going to go in. Kit should go too. Yeah, I'll go with you. I'll stay here with Rupi. I mean... Nope. I'm staying here with Rupi. I need to tell no. you something really cool. Oh, okay. no, that's, no, that's fine. I don't mind you staying with me, but... I mean, since Fulcrum knows how it's spread, and seems like I'd have to do something pretty intentional. I mean, should we split up, or should, and wait, should, I just don't know if we should split up or not. Regardless, if we do split up, I am staying with Ruby. No. Just in I'm case. Not no, I'm that. not going to, unless things get much, much worse, and she tries to kill me. Oh, yeah, no, if things get worse, he anything. can kill me. You have right. my word. With the parties. With the yeah, parties. apparently. <laughs> never we're just gonna together. Never fucking <laughs> never together. <laughs> Alright, so who's all going in? Me. Kit. Malkier. I guess I'll go in. That's good. They have one person with the ability to heal. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Send B too. It's fine. Uh, B will stay out just so I don't have to role player. Okay. <laughs> All right. So Casper, Kit, and Malkir heading. Sounds. Good. <clears throat> All right. So Casper, Kit, and the three of you. Uh, start walking down the hill. Oh, wait, I give Kit two, my other two good berries, just in case. Okay. Go. Towards the camp. It's <laughs> 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 important, okay? <laughs> um, and as you guys get within about, uh, like a hundred feet... Uh, you can see, uh, some people, uh, they look to be soldiers kind of, like, guarding the, the perimeter of the camp, uh, holding these kind of weird-looking spears, uh, and they say, Oi, who goes there? Are you big guy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yep. He'll uh tell them uh hold, mean no harm. We are passing through. I'm looking for a friend who is stationed here. You see the the two of them kind of like whisper each other for a second uh, before the one that spoke uh, says, "Sorry, sir. Orders say we can't let anyone in. There seems mm. to be some kind of sickness going around." Ah, good to know. Uh, I'm looking for a one Ipan. Already was stationed here a while back. You know if he's here? Uh, 
see they they whisper a little bit again uh and say uh sorry it doesn't ring a bell can i tell whether or not these guys are like official or they uh one of his men from like if these are the actual like military or more the uh Um, the, one of the one of the ar- part of the arbiters. Sure, go ahead and make a. Uh, I guess this would be with uh, insight check. All twenty. Work. Oh god. It. Uh, apparently, we have disconnected from the server. One second. <laughs> yes, oh, you have. Classic. Well, there yeah. he goes. He's gone. <laughs> oh, God, he's dead. <laughs> oh, God. And as I went to scroll up, too, it was like, yeah, you don't get to be connected for what you need. <laughs> Reload the damn character sheet, please. Thank you. All right. Inciting All right. 16. Yeah, you can <laughs> gather that this is just like uh, just a, <laughs> like a low-level soldier who just got put on guard duty. Because um, mm-hmm. like your like your group, like the Arbiters, like they're not like <laughs> all expansive in the military. Like there's just yeah. like they hold like a couple positions here and there. Yeah, that allows them to do their own shady shit, but like mm-hmm. they don't have yeah control no. over large sections of the building. Yeah, we don't have our own men no. <clears throat> for the most part. Granted, it's been a while since I was on the outside. I had to double check. Hmm. Well, sir, I can safely say that this is the first I'm hearing of this sickness. Um, been on the road a while. Haven't gotten a chance to really take a break. <laughs> yeah, yeah. May I at least request an audience with someone in charge so that I may uh, get the details of what's been going on here? They kind of give each other a weird look and was like, and then they say, "No." In case you haven't noticed, this is a military encampment. Not just anybody can walk in. No, you're just going to hear in his head, like, so, <laughs> what now? Sort of respond back, it's been a while. I haven't exactly been serving since the since I was put in the asylum. Unfortunately, when you are contracted to do wet work for the uh, for the military, your credentials are not exactly uh, public. Can't you flash your high standing that you did, like back in the Capitol? Maybe that'll get you in. I will try it. All right. 
Malkir will sort of just go, all right, uh, well, here's my scroll of pedigree. At least give, give me an audience with one of your commanders. I'd like to or at least, I'd like to at least see what's going on. This is the first I'm hearing about a, uh, sickness. I'd like to know where to avoid, if possible. Look, I don't know who you think you are. I'm not going to come out there to go look at your scroll in order to disobey orders. If you're wondering where to avoid, it to be the direction you just came from, <laughs> which makes me a little unsure on whether or not to even believe you in the first place. That said, we're not going to let you in. Hmm. So you can either be about your way or this whole camp is going to get really angry very fast. All right, I'm running out of peaceable solutions here, fellas. Well, they said your friend wasn't even here, so why do we care? Why don't we just move on? I was hoping to get some answers for Ruby, but I guess I'm not here. Well, he's probably somewhere else. Swear to God. It starts around and starts walking back from the way they came. <laughs> Air flip every, and all. It's taking every bit of restraint and not burning the fucking thing to the ground. All right. Are you leaving? Yeah. Flip off the guard on my way back. Okay. They flip you off back. All right, and you guys return to the party. Hmm. No luck. No dice. What do we do then? Well, how many, where, what path exactly are we even taking to get where we're going? Like, do we, what is our, what is our plan here? Well, the original plan was before things went to hell, to have Ruby, uh, copy down the various routes to the mountains. Uh, from a map maker that was inside the city. That plan went to shit. Mm, true, we also didn't get our <laughs> map copy. No, I was supposed to do that yesterday, and then we woke up to a fucked up city. Yep. Mm. And then... 
Personally, my plan was for us to establish contact with Ipan. See if maybe he uh, knew any more information about your uh, guardians and what their uh, plans were. Since we uh, typically like to keep tabs on what's going on. But we don't know where he is because he wasn't at the military encampment and I don't think running around the continent trying to find him is going to be helpful. Yeah. What was the reason? Because we said that we weren't going to go to Killamore and go around by ship because of pirates, right? Wasn't that the reason? And we were like, let's just cut through the mountains. It's faster. Ah. Well, raiders, not pirates. Yeah. <laughs> Potato tomato. Um... The pirates <laughs> are in the South Sea, the, the Urshuani Sea. Mm -hmm. And they're technically allied with the Empire. Uh, yeah. The raiders are from the north. They they kind of cover the coast up and down mm -hmm. on the western side there. But still, that was why we were like, nah, boat is risky. Um, well, we don't know how much longer before Ruby gets worse. Hmm. Huh. And the only other staging ground between here and Killamore is Nardok. Yeah. I don't so, think they're going to let us into another st a different staging ground. Well, it depends on how far news has traveled of this sickness. Right? Well, I guess technically it probably actually hit there first. Yeah, yeah the yeah, further we go this way, the closer we're getting to where it came from, so I'm sure they're aware. Yeah. Other than either A, back in the capital, or B, going to where Kat and I are from, because our mother would be able to help you, but that is too far. We'd have to go towards the Fen, hmm. and that's just also far. Yeah. And I think we just stick to the plan as we understood it before. Oh, I didn't get it. There's no place we can get to fast enough. It doesn't matter where we go. Mm -hmm. And the rest of you might as well stick to the plan. Try again, or is it still and I guess I just get to hope for the best. Yeah, and I don't exactly feel confident in our ability to sneak inside a military encampment to find somebody. Well, we wouldn't even know who we're looking for, right? If we did just sneak in anyway. So I think we should just, yeah, carry on with our original plan as well. Because where, if we go through the mountains, where were we coming out again on the other side? It would be somewhere near Donscar. And how far of a journey do we have to get there? Roughly? Um, Obviously not to the, you know, to the minute, but... <laughs> Oh, That's 34 like, feet? Oh my god! Feet. Yeah. We're so close. <laughs> oh, guys, it's just like a hop, skip, and a jump over that Ooh. pond right there. <laughs> it's more the fact that, that we have... Six seconds. <laughs> it's more the fact that we have to cross this body of water, through these mountains, depending on which path we take. Might have to deal with this body of water as well. I but we can't really tell. We have to do all that. Let alone anything else that's corrupted in the way that might stand in our way. That too. These, this like this fort and this hold, are these like the forward positions of the empire's like army that they've sent out here to deal with this? Because I remember we were talking about how they had they had like sent more people out this way because of all the shit that was going on and coming over the mountains. 
So is that these two places? Or they probably, or do they have like some other like more, even more forward, like operating bases that we just that aren't like mapped? No, yeah, uh, Cowhold and Fort Nardoc are like the two like large kind of like military installations like along like the border, uh, and they this is where they've been sending their kind of like reinforcements uh, because of the tensions along the border. And so what you're looking at here with the hundreds and hundreds of tents is probably a good portion of the military forces that were sent north. Mm -hmm. Or I guess technically west, but whatever. Okay, well, Mm -hmm. the Empire's not so, like, stupid that they would send all of these soldiers out here, but they wouldn't send people to, you know, keep them healthy. Mm Mm-hmm. All right. There's got to be... there. I mean, it's a stretch, but I feel like they're... I feel like your chances of making it all the way are slim, if this is already... You're literally coughing up... Mm-hmm. <laughs> she just goes like... <laughs> like she just yeah. shudders, remembering the yellow yeah. glob that came out of you. <laughs> like, <laughs> And she's like, the longer you're like this, A, the higher risk that you get the rest of us sick... B, who knows what, I mean, I guess Falcon probably kind of knows what comes <laughs> after coughing up that, but I can't imagine travel is going to get easier. Especially once we cross the mountains. I hate to say it, but you're more useful to us alive than dead. Valkyrie, go ahead and make a, another uh, history check real quick. All right. That could be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. <laughs> I just don't know why he hated to say it. I know that's what I was thinking. <laughs> I mean, I think it's pretty obvious that we like you alive more than dead. Nineteen. Yeah. That's so, uh, Malkir, you would know that with a like an army of this size, uh, they the empire would employ uh, several uh, physicians and uh, like mm-hmm. kind of priestly mages. From the yeah. various churches in order to keep keep the the mm-hmm. like, keep the health of all the soldiers here. It's, yeah. Although their <laughs> their main uh, reason for being there is uh, a bit more important once the fighting starts than it is kind of getting there. Yeah. But they are important nonetheless. It's mostly just convincing them to fucking work with us. Yeah. So, can you remind me, as the entirety of, like, the, the soldiers and everything are inside the hold, or some of them are outside? Sorry, I'm trying to... Well, the encampment remember. is, like, all around like the like the hill leading up to the, like, this castle. Mm-hmm. Um, which is on itself on, like, the, on the edge of, like, a cliff. Mm-hmm. So like the, the cliff like kind of like looks over like the lake and the river to the north, with like a hill on the south side of it, and the encampment is all around like the south side of the castle, kind of covering the hill. Uh, and as you're kind of studying it, you can see that there is like a small town, uh, at kind of like at the the base of the hill too that possibly like is there to like serve whoever is at the castle uh but that is also kind of been enveloped by the encampment area and is the encampment entirely like walled off in some way or no well not really walls uh it it looks like the perimeter of the encampment there's kind of like a uh like a temporary like palisade of like uh like trees that have been like cut down and sharpened to to points to mm-hmm. make effective, it more defensible. Yeah, effectively okay. if somebody tried to fucking drive like a cart across one area they just get impaled. Yeah. All right, here's the thought. Yeah. Some this close to where corruption comes from. If you were to be studying it, you would want to be as close as possible, yes. right? Mm-hmm. Yes. 
All right. Yeah, it... How many opportunities do these researchers get to <laughs> study somebody that's actively being infected? But... Yet any of the people <laughs> that might have done research in their lives. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I want to study you too. <laughs> I've been thinking it the whole time. <laughs> I mean, I've just been true. like looking at all of your like, <laughs> just constantly staring at you from different <laughs> angles, and you've just kind of noticed now, like, wait, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> oh no, I've, I've noticed. I've noticed. <laughs> the yeah, why do you idiot. think I was giving her all these gifts? Here, have some tea. <laughs> Oh, Fish. you still don't feel it here? Good fairies. Uh, so, any effect? <laughs> I mean, that is a good point there, Ruby. Velcrum, do you know the general survival rate? Or is it typically 100% uh, more of fatality? Uh, like I said, it's 50-50. Some people get infected, some don't. Some animals get infected, some don't. The closer you are, the more you're exposed to it, the worse chances you have. You would know, Felcrum, too, that once someone is infected, though, they die. Hmm. There isn't, like, a cure that you know of. Well, yeah. Oh, he would explain that much, at least. Yeah, I just I just wanted to clear that up because uh, Nestor was asking about mortality rate, not infection rate. Ah, uh, yeah, well... Yeah, it's if I mean she's not fully infected yet, so it, there's like I said, there's still chance. But if if she doesn't start getting better soon, or if we don't find someone to help take care of it, then shit out of luck. Yeah, it it's not good. Okay, so. We could try getting in again. It's not like the random guards at the gate are going to know that Kat and I are obviously no longer part of our respective departments. They would have no clue. Mm -hmm. We still have our uniforms. Yep. Might work. So we could... Mm. Ruby, you could probably throw together I have <laughs> so much faith in you <laughs> even when you're coughing up weird yellow stuff that you could probably whip something together semi-official looking that would get us past at least the front. Mm -hmm. well, Once we're in, it's a different tale entirely. Yep. Getting in is the current obstacle. Didn't yeah. you have an issue when we were up there that they wouldn't come look at documents? So how are they supposed to now suddenly change their mind and come look at a document? Well, see, here's the beautiful thing, is I can just send the document to them. I can just mage hand it into their face, so they don't have to come down from wherever they are. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay, that changes things. And that's 30 feet, so it's more than a comfortable distance for them to oh, figure it out. If they still don't look at it, they're just assholes. We can make ourselves look like we are completely prepared, that we, we are 100% in the know about the sickness. <laughs> we can't show up with no knowledge of it and be like, oh, we had no idea, because that's worse. Yep. So I say we, we have to make sure we're looking, we go prepared. Mm -hmm. And then we could just say that it's some sort of... The Empire is looking into using this potentially as a bioweapon in the future, and so we're here for research purposes. Ooh. It's like, that's actually not a bad idea. Yeah. <laughs> I know. That's just both of the twins at the same time, just like, huh. Oh, Look at each other and they're like, hmm. <laughs> Weaponize the plague. <laughs> oh god, they're becoming the government. <laughs> Well, they did add to the list. I was to say, I thought they were already the government, but all right. <laughs> I mean, they were ex-government, but now they are definitely. <laughs> and then, let's say... <laughs> Malkir, what do you know magically... Okay, the front of the encampment, there's no way there's any sort of magical <laughs> protections, right? That would be extreme, yeah. especially for a encampment that 
definitely isn't here permanently. Mm -hmm. So, trying to get somebody out with us to help Ruby, I feel like would be very difficult. Mm -hmm. It would depend. It would be, I feel mm -hmm. like, more difficult than if I just we just bring Ruby with us, <laughs> but invisibly. <laughs> Oh. So you could come with us, and we could sneak you in, and then we could just find someone, force them to help you. Or, and then I we could it. just not necessarily knock. force, but, you know, talk. So, force. Well, I mean, if they want to help us of their own goodwill, then that's great, but if they don't, then we will just we make them, them do it anyway. We make them do it anyways. <laughs> yep. And then if they can't do it, all we have to do is just knock them out and get gone get gone somehow sneak out of an encampment full of guards and you know yeah it's fine we'll be good we snuck out of an asylum i passed yeah. up for sneaking today yeah because if and yeah that's even better technically <laughs> i could make two of us invisible so if ever getting out becomes a problem cat just shrinks down mouse size pocket her I go invisible, Ruby goes invisible again, and then we just sneak out the three of us. Oh, is it only us three going? Well, I can only make two people invisible, so the get out plan. <laughs> I, <sort> can, of... <laughs> I can make us all sneakier. You can make us all sneakier, but it's this is a pretty large encampment that we're trying to sneak through. I see. And I'm still not okay. quite... Mm -hmm. We'll be great. My mind is still not quite <laughs> all there since waking up yesterday. So weird. I feel fine. I wish. <laughs> That's <laughs> it's the only plan I have. <laughs> this is the the thing, the fastest thing I could come up with on the fly here. Mm -hmm. And Malkir can't come back with us because they just turned him away. So that's way too suspicious. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Unless he was invisible. It's true. Unless he was what? Invisible. Invisible? <laughs> I guess I could sneak you in as well, invisibly. But then again, getting out, I guess you could fly out. They might shoot you out of the sky. <laughs> well, getting out, if it's if you make the two of them invisible again, you can be someone else and I can be animal with you just in case. And then we can get you out. True, too. true. Again, it's up to you guys. I'm, I'm just trying to think. Not that I don't think your talents are extremely useful, Malkir, because you've got you, you. You do great. I but sense. I, I sense some judgment here. I'm not. I'm not judging you. I'm yes, actually you not. Ju no, I'm not judging you. That was a hundred percent honest. You've done actually great because Gasper would. We probably wouldn't have Gasper with us right now if you hadn't blown him, you know, True. a large portion of that distance. The rest of us had to just leave. You were the only I'm <laughs> not kidding. Good job. But in this scenario, I don't think we're gonna I don't think fighting <laughs> our way out is gonna be the option against an encampment yeah. and a garrison to who knows how many soldiers in the hold. And unfortunately a lot of my military record is heavily redacted. So <laughs> distraction oh, and just that. You know, Unless you need a war crime. Not right now. Tal <laughs> I think for this one, I might need... I think we're. It's. I think Casper will have to come along. I will at least give you a general description of Ippon mm -mm. if you do see him. Oh yeah, definitely do. <laughs> we'll keep an eye out. Maybe the guards at the encampment were just... Fucking they just, liars? Well, I don't, it might lazy. not be so much liars. They said there's... They didn't. What did they say? They didn't know or didn't know who he was. Yeah, they didn't know who he was. Look at the size of this encampment plus the hold. There's a chance that they just their guards at the front. They have. <laughs> they might not know who he is. Excuse me. I look over at Casper. Like, do you want to come? I want to say no, but I also know that. You need me, so yes. Hooray. 
for changelings in a fucking dream. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Every time. Every time. Uh, actually, it's three changelings in a genasi. But it's yeah, but she's invisible, so she's just along for the ride, really. Uh, yeah, but I, I have to make your paperwork, so I'm part of this dream. <laughs> this is true. This is true. Before we, before we get anywhere, we're going to start with the paperwork and see, because if you come out with just, if it's not great, we're going to have to try again, because we have to go in there with something at least Am I workable? <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be great. What is it to make? People? It is gonna be great. I believe in you. <laughs> <laughs> you have. Is that Jesus. your bardic inspiration? Yes. And you know what? The worst bardic inspirations I've ever heard. <laughs> I'm only good at pumping myself up. What do you want from me? <laughs> <laughs> Expecting it to just be words of encouragement and not actually <laughs> bardic inspiration, so... Yeah. That's funny. I also believe in you. What is the ability that you're going to be using? No, I'm going to have the ability instead. Oh, nice. it's, it's an intelligence check, I think. Then you're I mean, so I smart right I... now, you don't even well, know. Is it usually an intelligence check, Mike, or is it going to be dexterity? Uh, if you're making something from, like, from scratch, it would be intelligence. Dexterity cool. would be if you were trying to copy something. Yeah, I'm starting from scratch, so... Oh. But you've got a pretty, you've got, you've got the gist of, you've done a couple of these now, so, you know, you're... A couple of these now, I filled out some official Empire documentation now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's true. Oh, yeah, at the bank. If mm -hmm. need be, at you the have... bank, at the detective... Detective yeah, agency when we set up our detective yeah, agency. You got this. Yep. If need be, you have three college graduates to help you make it look somewhat official. <laughs> I'm not sure your credits transfer over to this exactly, but Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I didn't I take mean, a course. He is the military guy. That's true. <laughs> All right. Oh, I just meant the paperwork part. <laughs> oh, sure. That's more what I meant. I was like, did you? <laughs> you think they don't do paperwork in the military? <laughs> Not in I his part of the military, you? I don't think. I didn't, I didn't take a course in espionage for nothing. See, they, <laughs> in his part of the military, they do twice as much paperwork because there's one guy doing all the paperwork and then another guy redacting it all. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. True. All right, I believe, team... All right, has pull, ability. Pull, out, pull out all my shit. All right, proficient intelligence check with advantage plus your your uh, bark inspiration. You so smart, so smart, so brave. So we have literally everything going for you. <laughs> what right, is it? D six. You said D six. Yep. 20! 30, 20! Hey! Pull my way up there. Nice. <laughs> Literally, like, all those additions, just like, eh, eh. We didn't throw any guidance in there as well? <laughs> she can, can uh, concentrate yeah. on both. Damn. I forgot the fucking guidance is concentration. It's weird. Yep. Gets everybody. <clears throat> all right. Yeah, you spend... Oh, next... sorry, it's actually a D8. Ooh. Oh! Yeah, it went up at 5th level. Oh, well, there you go. Well, go ahead and re-roll that D8, then. Hey! Even better, 25. Yeah. Ruby! This is why we keep you around! Yay! <laughs> this is why you can't oh, die! <laughs> Paperwork 14! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Now, Kit, I assume you're going to be changing your appearance as well, since you went up there with me before. Yeah, I've got a slew of faces I can put on. That's not an issue. Yeah. I went up there as generic human woman number one. I've got a couple more in the freaking... Generic well, human woman number five. You finally stopped uh, no, I'm five. using number five. You be someone else. Oh, oh fine. <laughs> yeah, we share right. the same collection of faces. <laughs> so... In the time it takes Ruby to finish forging the document, the little bit of sunlight that you had left sets. So it is, once again, night. That's fine. Hmm. Honestly, it being night might be yeah. actually, actually, no, never mind. It was already night because you guys traveled. Yeah, we fucked up our sleep schedule. That's right. <laughs> so it's it's like well after midnight now. 
Oh, good. The night shift's on staff, so, I mean... Weary travelers looking for a, a push this helps. through. This helps with the story. <laughs> you pushed through to make it to the encamp encampment before you had to rest again. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um. Hello. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got this. I so believe it. <laughs> How long does it take for Ruby to make the document? I'd say like, uh, like about an hour. Oh, perfect. Then I will. Not yet, but when we're ready, I'm gonna third level enhance ability on the. The two talkers for charisma. <laughs> okay. What are, good. what are you going to do during all of this? Stand there and look pretty. Bean's the representative. I'm the, 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 the one that knows doctor stuff. So, What's my role in this? I don't know. Honestly, I think you're just going to be... Also stand there and look pretty? You're going to be like our secretary, who's just <laughs> along for the trip. <laughs> A secretary? So he'll be playing the role I'm of sure Chris Hemsworth can... in Ghostbusters? I'm <laughs> sure you can pull it off. Don't even do my own bookkeeping. <laughs> <laughs> Think till you make it. <laughs> Says the changeling to the other changeling. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I feel like that's a pretty good motto. Yeah. <laughs> it's the changeling motto. Fake it till you make it. <laughs> All right. So the three changelings and an invisible ruby, right? She's invisible. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Just confirming that you're casting the spell. Yes. You, <laughs> you start walking down the hill towards the encampment. Oh wait, hang on. Before we just real quick, back it oh, up, back it up, back it up, start, back, back it up. Ten seconds, ten seconds. Just like ten seconds. I'm still disadvantaged, right? It hasn't been fifty hours yet. I'm gonna cut it has you. not been fifty hours. I'm gonna hours hands yet. you. Ah! You're gonna have an ability. It's fine. You'll be okay. I believe. I'll be you. straight rolling. Yep. Cut. Only on charisma. Only, Only on charisma. On charisma. <laughs> That's fine. That's the most important yeah. one. And you think about it. That's... <laughs> um. I was thinking it. You'll be fine. I, you got this. Esper's gonna get it too. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be so. Okay, before we head down, yeah, we make Ruby, or I make Ruby invisible. I have marked off spell slot mm -hmm. taken. I do. It's not three. It's two. What am I doing? <laughs> um, and then it's gonna. We're gonna put our. We'll probably. Yeah, we'll put our like old uniforms back on yep. that we still have, yep. and then we will. Oh. Glove up, mask up with like, I don't know, just some cloth or something from another piece of clothing we probably have in the bag that we can just like rip. <laughs> and we'll all be masked up because we're all super prepared for the fact that there's a sickness. Mm -hmm. And then I think that should be good. Yep. I'll tell you to keep an eye out for an elf who has a various symbolage to one Asmodeus. <laughs> I'm sorry, right, this, you, there's an elf. Can you, there's a, wait, can you draw what? that for me? <laughs> I don't exactly know what your symbols look like. Symbolage to Asmodeus just walking around in broad daylight? What? <laughs> I say is I have a fucking holy symbol around my neck for the fucking... <laughs> yeah, but you said various. <laughs> I mean, everybody's... A little more to stand out. Every, everybody's sort of degree, you know... You know, what they decide to wear is up to them. Typically, we at least keep one symbol on each other for uh, identifiers. So at least keep an eye out for a uh, sort of quick sketch of the fucking holy symbol for Asmodeus. <laughs> Isn't that like a call sign for somebody to just get killed? I think that depends on <laughs> who you're talking to. That's a good point. 
We ready? Sounds like it. Sure. Okay. Up. And I imagine he gives us more than a description of look for elf with an X. Yeah. <laughs> His symbol. I imagine we get like yeah, air color and yeah. Yeah, some other no. key features of no. Oh, you you're looking for an elf. <laughs> yeah. I imagine he had just been like, so you're looking for an elf and like, oh, okay, cool, thanks. Yeah. I'll give you various hair color, defining features, a scar over one eye. <laughs> Just What's picture that? evil mad scientist, and you're on the right track for it. <laughs> evil mad scientist elf with a holy symbol for asthma. Okay, <laughs> you meet some weird friends in college, there, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, before we go, you two. No, what do I know? No, no. You know this is like legitimately important. What the fuck is your? What name are you using so I don't go uh and stare no. at you and not know what name to give you? I don't know what name are you using. What name did they put on the paperwork? Oh yeah. Is that, well, I mean, I imagine this is probably a, this probably happened earlier. Well, if I'm a secretary, my name is going to be Crescent Moon. Okay. Should both of them look? <laughs> can't, can't just both look at you like, what the fuck? <laughs> really what? It's a fun secretary name. It is a fun secretary name. It's a very fun secretary name, but what the? Where did you? Never mind. I just a name. What? What do you want from me? Crescent. It's okay. All right, Crescent Moon. Um, <laughs> I'll look back at Cat and I'll be like, "I'm gonna use Dahlia. What are you gonna use?" I'll be Elena. All right. Not me, Tori, writing it down. So I don't forget. <laughs> I'm also writing it down. Writing it down. Don't worry. <laughs> what, is, what is Cat? Elena. Elena. Elena, and then Crescent Moon. <laughs> Crescent Moon. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez louise uh, and you, you said you're just looking like generic humans uh yeah wow. since yeah. human is like the most popular like popular. race within we still no, look no, like no. within the most popular race with like the most populous there's like the most it's just mostly common humans. i think the word common is the word you're looking yeah. for yeah, know what I mean. The majority <laughs> demographic of species. There you go. <laughs> okay, uh, common. Same, same for you, Casper. You being generic human. No, he's not. There's no shot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be a half elf. Half elf. Okay. And Ruby's invisible. I'm invisible. <laughs> Ruby's hopefully never gonna be seen. We also gave Ruby a mask. Don't cough. I had a mask. <laughs> yeah, true. We, had a mask. we double up Ruby's mask. Please don't <laughs> That's expect smart. That. <laughs> we learned from the pandemic. Yeah, we did. We did from the pandemic. I'm like, you stand over there. Six feet. <laughs> Are we uh, ready now? Okay, here we go. <laughs> Cast enhance ability. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. On my two other change like friends. Not me. For COVID. Okay. Sounds good. So, now you make your way down <laughs> towards <laughs> the encampment. Um, And as you uh, get about a hundred feet away, uh, you hear someone uh, yell, Oi, who goes there? And you see two guards <laughs> standing with weird looking spears. <laughs> Is it the same two guards or have they changed shifts? Uh, the voice sounds the same. You you weren't you didn't really get yeah. a good look at their face last I time. I didn't see and, shit last time. You, so. don't, <laughs> you don't get a good look at their face this time either, so. And sort of just like squint into the darkness. <laughs> it's like, nope, still can't see. <laughs> Voice sounds the same. Yeah. We're representatives from the capital. We've been traveling for a very long time. I have our paperwork. We need to get in. 
And I will, before they say anything, whip up a mage hand with the paperwork and walk well, it obviously within 30-ish feet so that I can get it to them and direct the mage hand in the direction of the voice because I don't know exactly where it is. Well, you can see, you can see the, like, their silhouette. Oh, okay. Then to the silhouette. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> All right. Um, I don't give him time to think twice. It's just like, whip, 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 go. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. Yeah, you uh, see he takes the paper and he opens it up. Uh, and then he uh, yells for a runner. And you see another like, oh. silhouette, silhouette of another s- a soldier come running up. And he says... Go get the major. And that silhouette goes running up. Yay. Oh my god. Sorry. I just remembered also the three of us have telepathy anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's great. It's, it's super great. great. Except for Ruby, who yeah. you have to see to use it on, so you yeah. she's yep. just completely out of everything. Out of it's the loop. It's totally fine. fine. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, she's used to it. <laughs> At this point, she's like, I'm just following. <laughs> They're just like, follow the leader. I'm hoping to not die. Mm-hmm. I'm hoping that you don't die, too. Because this is not what this whole thing is for, is to keep you alive. So I hope it works. I uh, I forgot to mention this. Uh, oh, I forgot to ask this when you guys were uh, forging the document. What What was the purpose of your visit? Oh, so this is like a joint... I don't want to say task force because we're two fucking people, but I mean, I guess it could have been a task force back in the Capitol and we're just sent as like early representatives. Yeah, sure. Uh, Between Massa, Dude, and the EHO. Yeah. Do you need a reminder of what those are, Mike? No. (laughs) No, I got it. Um, Uh, Yeah, so... Yeah, there, exactly. there a coalition of those for what purpose? Um, both for the investigation of just like the disease in general and its potential harm to the entire population of the empire, uh, combined with um, research into its potential military use. Got it. We just travel in pairs. Secretary. And a secretary. And a secretary. And a uh, random invisible person. <laughs> that's invisible that they don't know about. It's fine. <laughs> All right, then. Um, a couple minutes later of standing in silence with these two guards watching you, um, you see a, another silhouette... Uh, kind of, like, come walking forward with a purpose. Uh, This one looks slightly smaller than the other soldiers. Um, And uh, you hear a woman's voice yell, Come forward! Come forward? I'm already within 30 feet, but I go even closer. (laughs) Yeah. Um, as you get closer, you can start to make out the the finer details uh, of the soldiers. Um, the the ones with the weird looking spears uh, look very kind of like confused, but also like on alert as they're watching you. Um, the woman, however, uh, and as you get closer, you can tell that, uh, she is an elven woman, uh, has more of, like, a stern look on her face, uh, as if, uh, kind of like a, like a quizzical look on her face. And she says, you say you're from the capital to... Investigate the disease. Yes. 
It's right there in the paperwork. Yes. A couple questions. How did the Capitol hear about this so fast? And how did you get here so fast? They received word from one of the teachers in Ithaca. We were teleported as sort of an advanced verification. And when we quickly realized that it had spread much farther than anybody had realized, we sent a message back. They told us to move forward. Go ahead and make a deception check. Advantage. Well. No, it's oh, straight. Yeah. Great <laughs> because of the advantage. <laughs> Why did neither of us take deception? I know. We're so <laughs> dumb. Every time. Yeah. You have to lie. You you say that. No. <laughs> Why do you think I've kept deception as my my little bonus proficiency? <laughs> oh man! Oh man! Oh man! It's fine. Just roll high. I'm dreading this click. Okay, okay it's just my life in your hands. It's fine. You're invisible. You're totally okay. Is that going to be against a roll? What's that? Is it like, would she be rolling against that, the her deception? The uh, it would be a contested to? check, yes. Cool. I'm going to use woe and I'm going to lower whatever she rolls by a d6. Okay. By three. By three. <laughs> I know this all kind of happens in the moment because <laughs> it's not like exactly initiative order. Um, uh -huh. But if I get the sense that she doesn't believe me, I guess, which on an 11 is <laughs> oh, chances are not great that she's believing me. Can I <laughs> can I silvery barbs her <laughs> to make her <laughs> reroll? I mean, you you would be able to like make her re-roll, but then she would be very confused why you cast a spell all of a sudden while she was while you were talking. Yeah, I guess that's fair. I forgot that it's mm -hmm. like actually magic works weird. <laughs> it's yeah. not like yeah, you and might, that's you, fun. You might be confusing <laughs> that spell with the other spell from that book, Gift of Gab. <laughs> I do love Gift of Gab. It is on my list to take. <laughs> okay. So, uh, I rolled a... It would be a 13 minus 3. So a 10. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> oh my god. But does she you have modifiers? You should see my face right now. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the 13 was with the modifier? <laughs> well, th it, 13... Four, minus four, four. three. Yeah, no, four, I just four. meant like you. I that's why I, meant, I thought when you said I rolled a thirteen, like you rolled a thirteen on the dice, and then but she has like a plus zero. No, but... it was it was what oh, she, okay. what you okay. rolled plus her bonus and gotcha, then gotcha, okay. minus three. Oh, oh my god! I go home today. At first, I was like, man, I wish I got wheel, but yo. I mean, had you gotten <laughs> wheel and you rolled. Oh, no. I could have then it could have also here. worked. So, yeah, but right. oh, <laughs> I forget Josh can see. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look, the stars are just a line. Oh my, <laughs> my god! I got eleven. Okay, sorry. Yeah, continue. Lucky. She says, hmm. "Well, I don't know what you plan to investigate." Uh. We heard about the disease, and because of how contagious it is, 
uh, we've shot everybody that's come within a certain range that looked everybody else we turned Oh man, it's a good thing Ruby never showed up here and not invisible. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, that would have been awkward. <laughs> What did you do with the bodies of those infected in range? Well, we burned them. Look, our main purpose, especially coming here tonight, is that we are exhausted. And need a place to rest. After that, we would also just like to speak to any of the physicians that have been sent, see if they've noticed anything. We'll ask a couple of people also for their information, what they've seen, and then chances are we'll be moving on and we'll be out of your hair. Make a persuasion check. <laughs> Straight roll again. Straight Thank roll. God. Okay. <laughs> Don't okay, worry, I can is... do it again. <laughs> this is true. Well, this just one real high this time. Oh. This one isn't a contested check. This is Dang. just a. Mm -hmm. This is just a general check on her part to see if she convincing enough. Sure. Okay. I. It's a plus six, I believe. I motherfucker. I am amazing. This dice, why do you do me like this? Putting in all this effort, the dice gods are like, fuck your roleplay. Me and Vanya with every survival check. <laughs> Our orders are to not let anyone into the encampment no matter what. You are welcome to camp in the surrounding area. In the morning, I will pass your papers along to the commander, and if he sees fit to let you in, you can ask your questions then. So you're going to delay us by an extra eight hours while this continues to spread. When we have every reason to be here. Most researchers don't show up in the dead of night. You're lucky I'm talking to you at all. And keeping you said, out is making sure that it doesn't spread to our army, which is keeping the peace between our nation and the nations to the northwest. If you would like to jeopardize that, <laughs> then go ahead and try, but we will respond with complete punity. Major, it is just as you said. I apologize. I feel like maybe we've... We showed up... We showed up in the dead of night because we've been moving at odd times to avoid all contact with anybody. Also, we couldn't be sick as we, you asked. You even said we arrived here very quickly because we have just come from the capital where there is no sign of this disease. I understand you are trying to do your job. I am also trying to do mine. We've taken every precaution as I like lift up hands and show mask. We will remain this way for the entire time we are here. And as I said, it's a few questions and we will be out of here most likely tomorrow.
and moving around in the dead of night will be easier. There are fewer people, I imagine, moving around the encampment at this time, so there's less chance of any contact. Make another persuasion check, <laughs> but this time the DC is much higher. <laughs> Man. You can do it. Oh. We believe. I believe. We will. I believed. I believed. <laughs> 24. <laughs> I believed so hard, Mike. <laughs> it was raised to a 25, though. <laughs> <laughs> Went from like 15 to 25. <laughs> Ooh, sorry, you were only 35 short. <laughs> <laughs> I should have required a natural 40 to succeed on this roll. <laughs> <laughs> you had to roll at advantage and hit two d20s. <laughs> You see, she stares at you intently for a very long time. <laughs> I just before stare. letting out a sigh. Says, "You will be quarantined and kept under guard the entire time you are here. You will not be allowed to roam free, and the physicians will be brought to you for you to ask your questions." Is this understood? Yes, Major. Yes, Major. All right. Follow me before I change my... So that she turns around and starts walking into the encampment. The... A few guards that had kind of followed her up there watch you expectantly and wait for you to follow. Yep, I walk in there like I have every notion that I know exactly. I, confidence, full confidence, fake till yeah. you make it. We're in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, the four of you. Walk in, following this major, as she walks through the encampment, leading you to an area of the encampment that seems to be a little bit more kind of sparsely populated. And leads you to a large tent for you to be in by yourself. Um, I will turn back to the major. Is there a phys how are the physicians allocated here in the encampment? The physician's locations is not information that you need. I will go and bring them. Wonderful. Rest here until I return. I give her a smile. Thank you. And I go into the tent. <laughs> How long has it been? How long has it been since... since right, I have to say since what? <laughs> yeah. Since uh, it all started, like, my enhanceability and the invisibility. I would say uh, it was, like, a 20-minute walk up to the edge of the encampment, uh, re requesting the major and... Uh, 
and the whole conversation with her probably took another like five minutes uh and then the walk through the encampment took another 15 so it's been 40 minutes so 20 minutes left on your spells okay during the also when i had turned around to talk to the major and ask about the um um the physicians oh my god i would have on purpose done it while i had the like if this tent has a flap, I guess, held the tent flap open, like, oh, I'm right about to go in, wait, I have a question for you, and I'm going to leave it held so that we can get in without making the tent flap move. <laughs> yeah, easy enough. <laughs> okay, perfect. <laughs> Gotta think about these things, man. <laughs> um, Can we take, like, a small break? I really want to go to the bathroom, and I kind of need to keep talking during this role play. <laughs> Um, just like five minutes. <laughs> I mean, honestly, this is probably a good part to end it actually for the night. Okay, because it's okay, like, oh yeah, it's true. It's eight thirty, right? But, I'm yeah. so confused with yeah. the games. Normally, we're like start. We just started on Wednesday at this time, so <laughs> right. Yeah, we we'd get back from the break and then play for like ten minutes at the end anyway. <laughs> That's true. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to end the stream here so thank you guys for watching and i'm assuming we're playing next week nobody's canceling or nothing's coming up uh taylor said maybe she'd be uh next time but other than her i don't think anyone's told me anything else about not being able to play next week i'm i'm much mm. closer to yet my dad is coming to see me next weekend but he tends to leave on sundays so it's either that i'll be just like really really tight on time or i might be like a smidge late depending on what time he leaves but i will most likely be there if ever that changes i'll let you know but for now it's like i'll be there we're playing unless somebody else says they can't but yeah Yeah, just ahead of time keep us posted and we'll plan to play for that day cool beans so i'll be around All right, so I will end this here. So thank you guys for watching, and we will catch you next week. Bye. 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 Bye.